Got a video with your boy California guy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to my video. This video is about the George Floyd protest uh, and all of the shootings that's been taking place over the last month in white supremacy. Now, as of late, there's been a lot of protests regarding George Floyd uh, murder up in Minnesota and all over the country. And I've been looking at Facebook and social media, and I've been looking at all this stuff. And for a lot of years, I've told people that this was going to happen again. White supremacy is stronger than ever. It's been strong over the last 10, 15 years. I've been talking about this for 20 years, even before I came on of uh, YouTube. And what's going on is black people are going through uh, situations that we shouldn't be in. Um, my thing is this. With the protests, we need another plan. We need another plan of action. Uh, one plan is we need to start to build black empowerment up, uh, black businesses. Uh, we need to start supporting that. That's A. B, we need to start uh, schooling and teaching our black boys about, you know, that you're in danger, you know, when you go out into this uh, public and how to fight against uh, the police, uh, not fight the police physically, but how to fight against charges against the police and avoiding them, and how to avoid white vigilantes like that brother that was killed in Georgia, which I'm going to touch on in a future video. But we got to start to really um, look out for each other as black people because all this stuff was building. You know, you have discrimination on jobs. You have discrimination with housing. So you've been having the voting purges that's been taking place over 10 years. So with all this stuff taking place, and you have the police, people, white people calling the police on black people, like Barbecue Becky and all this other stuff. So with that being said, we need to start to get smarter and figure out what's going on. Well, number one, we need to acknowledge that uh, racism still exists within the United States. We can't get caught up with, you know, we got this diversity thing and we got white friends and all that shit there we gotta first start to recognize that hey this is real you know we're really being attacked by uh racism in america and once we acknowledge that first then after that point we could uh find a solution to the problems so with the george floyd protest going on which you have agitators by the way you have whites hijacking of uh, some of these, I think some of these uh, agents are sabotaging some of these protests. That's just my opinion. I think you have a lot of agents, but neither here or there. The Coons don't know what to say because you have these different shootings. It was building with George, uh, with George Floyd. So uh, we got the police officers arrested. We got one of the police officers, the murderer, arrested. So that's one good thing, but we need to get the other ones arrested too, right along with him. And we need to start to kind of make an example that uh, we as a people are not going to keep getting assaulted by um, the police departments across America or them trying to shit on the movement when it comes to uh, black people. So, you know, uh, prayers for that brother's family, you know, because he didn't deserve to die in that manner. Uh, I've dealt with police officers myself in the past and they've done certain things even to myself. You know, where, you know, uh, that could have been me, but not on camera. And, and there's a lot of George Floyds out there in the world who have suffered the same thing as him. So, you know, you have a lot of George Floyds in the world. So um, we need to look out for each other. Um, and we need to talk further about our plans on how to police our own communities and how to look out for black uh, to be black first, you know, black people got to think about themselves first so that we don't keep getting assaulted by white supremacy police officers and white vigilantes and black coons. Like and share this video, people. Peace out.